ask yourself, why do you do the things that you do? Ask yourself, why do you believe the things that you believe? Most people grow up in a ready-made society. I mean, it's there. As soon as we are born and we are little children, we have a society that is already established with certain practices, certain customs, certain traditions, uh, even certain beliefs. And we grow up in that society. Very few of us, as we get older, maybe into our teenage years and becoming an adult, very few of us say, well, why do I do this? Why do I practice this custom, this tradition? Why do I believe the things that I believe? It will be a shock to most people coming into this Christmas season. It will be a shock to most of you for me to tell you that Christ Mass or Christmas was not observed in the church at large for about 400 years after the death and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. We get into the age now of those 400 years of the establishment of the Roman Catholic Church. So even the Roman Catholic Church did not observe a season to celebrate and to tell people about Jesus Christ's birth. For 400 years, Christianity did not observe the birth of Christ. And you think to yourself and why on the 25th of December, why a specific day to observe the birth of Christ? You can easily go on the internet and type in Christ Mass or go even go on the Roman Catholic Encyclopedia and they will be openly, they will just openly tell you about the history of Christ Mass. And it will be a shock to most people. You can also do the same thing about January the 1st. Why do does the, the world now has accepted January the 1st as the new year? Why in the middle of the winter does a new year start? Well, of course, we know it comes from the Roman Empire. But again, you can go on the internet or into the Catholic Encyclopedia and find out how we came to observe the 1st of January as the new year in the middle of the winter. But it has something to do with the sun and people who looked to the sun, even worshipped the sun. You can do the same thing with Easter, and it's going to be a shock for 99% of Christians to learn about how we got the Easter celebration. Again, you can go on the internet, you can go to the Roman Catholic Encyclopedia, and they'll be quite open about it. How we came as Christians to observe Good Friday, so-called Good Friday, and Easter Sunday. You might also take a little time to go on the internet or the Roman Catholic Encyclopedia and find out about what is called the Quartodeciman Controversy. The Quartodeciman Controversy. And it is to do with Easter and with the Passover. And it will be quite enlightening for you to find out what the Quartodeciman controversy was all about. There are many things that we grow up just kind of automatically doing and practicing, many beliefs that we have grown up with. Are you reading the Bible? And in doing so, 
is one of your attitudes in reading the Bible that you are willing to be corrected, willing to be instructed, willing indeed to let the Bible teach you, instruct you, correct you on certain beliefs that you have just maybe grown up accepting as being Christian or being what the Bible says. You have the avenue today like never before to look up these customs, these traditions, these practices, these beliefs. You can go on my website. Now, my website, the server is down right now, probably for this COVID virus, but it's been down for about nine months and I have no idea when it will be back up. But thankfully, we have the people that invented the Wayback Machine. So to get to my website, you can go on the Wayback Machine, type in keithhunt.com, choose 2017, and then choose April or May. My website will come up. You can then save it under your favorites or whatever. You can now save it, so then you can go to it immediately after the very first time that you do this. And you will find that the links all work. And there is much, much on my website to expound all of these customs and traditions and practices. And of course, the beliefs that many Christians have, thinking that this is what the Bible teaches. When in fact, Many of our beliefs are not what the Bible teaches. You can also go onto my blog, and my blog is the Meltdown Continues, all one word, the Meltdown Continues dot blogspot dot ca. And I'm beginning to put many of theological studies up on my blog. So you've got those two avenues that you can use, my website, my blog, but you've just got the internet also, and even the Roman Catholic Encyclopedia, and they'll be quite happy to tell you where all these things came from. There was a bishop that wrote a book about Christian feasts and customs. You'll find it on my website. You'll find his book on my blog, the entire book, chapter after chapter, openly admitting to you the historical facts of where we got many of our traditions and our customs and our practices from. So it is time that you should open your eyes, open your mind, and search out these things. 